Good evening, dear ladies. I would like to bless all of us, Bezrat Hashem, that we will all have the school to greet. Mashiach Tzikan Ben Rabbi Amenu Amen. Amen. Bezrat Hashem. And may we all have the school to see and hear the Shaliach. Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishbi Leav Ledi B'mrav Moshev David Eliyahu Navi Zafur Latov And we all have the school to see the building of Beit HaMikdash Hashishi B'mrav Yamenu Amen Ki Ayin Bayin Eru B'shubad Nei Tzion Atat Akum Tarachem Tzion Ki Et Lecha Nena Kiva Moed Ashibenu Adonai Elecha Venashuva Chadesh Yamenu Kekedem And we all have the school to go to Eretz Yisrael On the wings of eagle And may we all have Heart in Eretz Yisrael. Amen. Yishem Hashem nasev v'natzliach. Eno milvado Hashem spatay titach ufi egit ilatecha. Amen. And everything in the schut of kol Yisrael bezrat Hashem. Amen. Dear ladies, we are inside the three weeks. Ben ha-meitzarim in Hebrew. In between the borders of the three weeks, yesterday we had on the 18th of the month of Tammuz, we had the fast because it was postponed from Shabbat to Sunday, and know that Tisha B'Av is on Sunday. It starts, we do Suda Mavseket on, uh, so on Suda Shlishit. On Shalishitis, we are doing Suda Mavseket. So we'll speak about it when we come to that week, Bezrat Hashem. And uh, the, we start the fast from Achare uh, Suda Shlishit, we start the fast of uh, Tisha B'Av. May we all be broken, may we all have the schut. May we all have the schut, Bezrat Hashem. To see the building of Yerushalayim. We all have the truth to see Kohanim ba'avodatam levim b'duchanam b'Yisrael b'ma'amadam. So now, dear ladies, it says in Masechet Eicha, in Begilat Eicha, Yirmiyah, the prophet writes over there, Kol rotea yisigua ben amitzari. That he who pursues Hashem in the time that Hashem is concealed, in the time that Hashem does not reveal Himself, which is now the time, because when the children of Israel were in the desert, any any peeps katan that they didn't do in the will of Hashem, immediately they uh, they were punished, and immediately they were cleansed, and they they were righteous from top to to bottom. But now that Hashem conceals Himself, we 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 are mamash. We believe in Hashem. Are you listening? We, are, we believe in you, Hashem. We believe in Hashem. Without seeing anything, but listening to our heart. You remember Sarai Menu? The angels came to Abraham Avinu. And they said, Yes, Sarai is And Abraham Avinu says, She's in the tent. Mm -hmm. You remember Abraham Avinu, how much he was modest, and when there was hunger in Canaan, he went to Egypt, and, and the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, took her, and he made her, she was so beautiful, that he painted her on the wall, and, he, and he, she didn't let him touch her, and the angel was there hitting him. It's beautiful. She wrote, she said to Hashem, Hashem, she was sitting, and she was said, Hashem, Abraham Avinu is outside the boat. Abraham Avinu mechutz la sira, v'ani betoch la sira. Abraham Avinu is out of danger. He's outside the, the boat. But I am in danger. I'm inside the boat. I'm with Pharaoh in the same room. She said, Abraham Avinu went after you because you spoke to him and you promised him. Abraham Avinu left the Torah Kadosh Baruch Hu, because Kadosh Baruch Hu ifteach lo. Who did it? But Sarai Menu went with faith. Sarai Menu went with Emuna. She said, "I didn't hear you, Hashem. I heard my husband." And he said, "Bali Omer." I went with Emuna, and my husband went with Avtacha, with a promise. So Hashem tells her, "For you, Sarah, I will save you. I will save your children because you remember Pharaoh was holding in the room." She said, "I, I'm married. You cannot touch me." And the angel, every time she told the angel to hit him, ah, Natano angel. The angel gave him a, a hit. And why? This was the ten plagues that were supposed to come on Pharaoh and the Egyptians for the children of Abraham of Sarah. When, we, when Yaakov went with his children to Mitzrayim, and after that, after all this generation passed away, the generation after them was enslaved in Egypt. Everything that Abraham and Sarah did, we uh, was well, Zoche, we had the merit 
to uh, see the ten plagues. I, I always say we, you know why I say we? Because Arizal says that we are the generation, the recognition of the generation that went out of Egypt. All of us. So in the schut, in the merit of righteous women, we went out of Egypt. In the merit of righteous women, we're going to go out of this exile. So it depends on us, on our soldiers. Shoulders. Amen. So dear ladies, בזכות נשים צדקניות יצאו מצרים, ובזכותן עתידים להיגאל, שזה אנחנו. Because we are the recognition, אנחנו, אנחנו הגלגול של הנשים שיצאו ממצרים. So dear ladies, we see that when Pharaoh took them out, and he escorted them, and last lesson I spoke about it last Tuesday, he escorted them out of Egypt, because all of the gates of Egypt were... Uh, that there was magic over all of the gates of Egypt. Kol ha-sharim, ayal kishuf alem. Bil'am did the magic for all of the gates of Egypt. You couldn't go out. Anybody that came in cannot go out. Everybody that came in was enslaved. It was inside. So because Abraham, Avinu, and Sarah went out with so much, and also not, they didn't went empty-handed. They went with, Pharaoh gave Abraham, Avinu, in her merit, in Sarah's merit, he gave him a lot of riches that he went out with. And the uh, cattle and, and sheep and everything that we went out with, but he escorted them to go out. So because of this, also we went out of Egypt. They opened the path for us. So now we see Korot Fehadi who pursues Hashem. In the time that Hashem conceals himself, <laughs> and wants to see the truth in this world. He who wants the truth of, in this world, what is true? Dear ladies, this is emet in Hebrew. You remember emet is the seal of Hashem. Bereshit bara Elohim, the end letters are truth. Emet. Besiyad <coughs> Aleph stands for Eliyahu the prophet. Men is for Moshe Rabbeinu, Mashiach Ben Yosef, and Mashiach Ben David. You see, all of this starts with a man. And you know that they're all Moshe Rabbeinu, Mashiach Ben Yosef, and Mashiach Ben David are waiting for Moshe Rabbeinu to bring them. And why we are delayed? Because Moshe Rabbeinu gave us a Torah. So, Torah Sibalan of Moshe, Morasha Kilat Yaakov. So, Moshe Rabbeinu is waiting for us to study the Torah. So you know what a big schut that we sit together and study the Torah together every week? And then every week, seven days, seven days parallel to the seven counts of the Kabbalah that are from here. Because this is the head. This is, uh, we can't touch this, but this we came to fix. All of the seven midot attributes we came to fix over here. So, and parallel to them are all of our forefathers. So you see, this is the mem and the tab that chiyat ametim, resurrection. Chiyat ametim. This is resurrection. So he who clings to the truth, Misha Dabek Ba'emet, clings to the truth in in these, in this time, in the time that Hashem conceals himself, when the name of Hashem is only half, you see over here, Rodef Kol, Rodef UK. Why? Because at the end of Parashat B'Shalach, Humash Mot, after Amalek is coming and he goes after the children of Israel that are in the back, because there are a lot of children, are, all of the line at the back they are. And, and Amalek takes them and kills them and cuts their brit, their circumcision, and they, Amalek th throws it to the sky, and he tells Hashem, can you imagine? Take what's yours. So, dear ladies, after that Hashem said, Ki yad al kesya milchama la Hashem ba'amalek midor dor. Which means the name of Hashem is missing Vav K, the name of Hashem, and his chair, his throne is missing the Aleph, nakhon? Look, Ki yad al kesya, which means Vav K is missing because UK there is, Kiyad al Kesya, UK there is, this is missing from the name of Hashem. And from the check, Kiyad al Kesya, Kes, Kes is missing the Aleph. This is Kise. The Aleph, he says it's written Kes without the Aleph. 
If we take the Aleph and the Vav and the letter He, the Hu. Nachon? And if we take this and add Lamed Yud, because Vaitem Lisgula Mikol Amim, you should be for me precious from all, special and precious from all of the nations. So if I add to the letters that are missing from the name of Hashem and the throne of Hashem, because Li is the word of, of promise of Hashem. You're going to be mine, my special nation, my precious nation. Yes, that's the Ketuba. From here we learn. This is how our sages learn how to, how to do Kiddushin. If the Chatan does not say Li, she's not Mekudeshet, she's not sanctified. He has to, he has to say, So Hashem said, And our sages say, it's written, that every place that is written Li, it's forever. It's a promise forever. What is Li? Lamed is Migdal Poreak Bavir. Lamed, dear ladies, is Hashem, because Lamed is written Chav and Vav. Chav is 20, Vav is 6, it's 26. You say Vav K. This is the Lamed. And the Yud is Am Israel, because the, we are the smallest in the nations. So the youth is from Israel that received the youth is ten in, in numerical values, the Esr Begimatria, received the Ten Commandments, Aserat Adibot, the ten the ten speeches that Hashem created the world, because without the children of Israel there is no world. Hashem created the world in order that the children of Israel will study Torah. We are part of this. We are studying every week to, to get the Torah. So we are part of this. And this is the youth, the ten, Asara Mamorot, which is Hashem created the world, Hashem Barat Olam. And the children of Israel are the ones that are partners of Hashem to recreate every week the, and every day the world from the beginning. Can you imagine? So, dear ladies, the youth is for the children of Israel, the ten, the, the ten days of atonement, the ten speeches, the ten commandments. And, um, the ten counts of the Kabbalah, everything is ten. And how, do, that's why we poteach et yadecha. Why do we do poteach et yadecha? Because parallel to this, Hashem created us, and we have the whole world inside us. Hashem created the world in ten speeches. Hashem barait ha'olam be'asara ma'amarot. We have asara, eser etzbaot, ten fingers. Mamash, tartei mashma, the ten commandments. Five and five in each tablet, Nachon, we have it. The ten days of atonement. Yudke is in the right, literally, Bemilu Yotiyot, Yudke is in the right hand, and Vavke is in the left hand. Yudke, Vavke. You remember I told you, I always show you, and also the triple blessing of the Kohanim, Berkat HaKohanim. Evarkecha Hashem v'yishmerecha, v'yair Hashem pana v'lecha v'yichoneka, v'yisa Hashem pana v'lecha v'yasem lecha. So look at the power of the, of the hands. This is, and we have the 22 letters in the hands. And furthermore, dear ladies, you see the lines in the hands? They, and also the lines in her forehead and in her face, they change by our tshuva. If we do things that are not in the will of Hashem, they change themselves. We don't pay attention to this, but they change. Gamba yeah. Metzah, also in the forehead. Also in the forehead. And if we do tshuva, they change. Kol atzimanim po, zazim v'mishtanim. We don't pay attention to this, but it's mamash kacha. And only the righteous tzaddikim, when they see us, they know, they know through our forehead. Unbelievable. Arizal Ayah Shar Yodea. Immediately the Arizal when he looked. They changed the light, the, the, the width of the, the length of this, mamash change, but Shuba Shalanu. And if we don't do the will of Hashem, it changes, changes again. So dear ladies, let's continue. So you see a myth. We see, so 
Aleph shel emet Eliyahu that will come and, and tell us that Bezat Hashem Mashiach comes and he will see that all of the hearts of our children and, and our hearts will be together so we will do Tshuva before Mashiach comes. So you see, these are the letters that are missing from the name of Hashem. The letter here and the letter Bab and the letter Aleph from the throne, Makiseh Shel Hashem. And if we are add the word of Kiddushin between us and Hashem, what do we get? Lame Yud, Hei Bab Aleph, Eliyahu. You see Eliyahu Anavi? You see over here? Eliyahu Anavi. These are the letters that are missing from, from, uh, from the name of Hashem, Bab K. And this is from the throne, Zeh Aleph. Nachon ki yad al kesiyah, milchama la Hashem ba'amalek midor dor. And then we put the li, that Hashem said, Be'item li sgula mikol ha'amim, when we have Eliyahu Navi Zakhul at all. And so when he comes, Bezrat Hashem, that's it. We are just, we just need everybody to be sure that you have white clothes at home. And don't forget the cards, the cards. The cards that we gave you of the Amchal. The Mashiach cards, because half of it is the bracha to say that we uh, want we want Mashiach the tefillah, and the other half is all of the blessings that we have to say when we see Mashiach. So you have to, and he who says this every day will have the schut to read Mashiach. So don't forget the cards. So we see over here, this is an end. So he who, who pursues Hashem at the time that Hashem is concealed, מי שרודף אחרי הקדוש ברוך הוא למצוא את האמת to know the truth and to cling to Hashem ולדבוק בקדוש ברוך הוא בזמן הסתר פנים when the name of Hashem when Hashem is concealed and the name of Hashem is not is not full look what will happen he is going to Hashem is going to give him בסייעת הדשמא the זכות to see the truth and to cling to him כל רופאי סיגוע בין המצרים. בין המצרים it means that the time that Hashem is concealed. So he who pursues Hashem at the time that he's concealed בין המצרים. מה זה מצרים? זה מצרים. We are still in מצרים, all of us, because all of the exiles are called after מצרים. We are all in מצרים. Each and every one, what happened in מצרים? היה גלות הדת וגלות הדיבור. There was exile of knowing Hashem. Knowing that there's, you know, even the animals knows that there's a creator. Just human beings sometimes forget that there's a creator, that they are only temporary over here. So, dear ladies, at the time that Hashem is concealed, when a person is seeking the truth, Hashem gives him the schut, and he feels the name of Hashem. Can you imagine? At the time, and Mitzrayim, look at Mitzrayim. This Bena Mitzrayim, it's just different Nikud. This is Mitzrayim, but if I put different Nikud, it will be Mitzrayim. So what happened? You see over here Yetzer. You see Yetzer? It can be. Egypt, when we were in Egypt, they wanted, the Yetzer Ara, the even inclination, wanted to separate our thoughts from the Machshava, it's, it's too many, you see, the Mem that is closed is Machshava, and the Mem that is open is Maaseh, is action. Pharaoh didn't want us to have time to think and to cling to Hashem, and that's why he wanted to separate Maaseh from Machshava, that we won't think about Hashem, Shalom Machshava la Kadosh Baruch and then we'll fall in with the evil inclination. This is what happened because the children of Israel fell into 49 gates of impurity. So, so Baruch Hashem, look at the Yetzer. But Yetzer, look, you descend, Sadiq is 90, Reish is 200. How much is it together? 300. What is 300 shield? We have our forefathers to protect us. When we cling to Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, when we cling to our forefathers, Be'ezrat Hashem, every vav is six, 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 and another six together, it's 18. We have Chaim, Chaim. And then we have, uh, how do we get to Chaim? We cling to our forefathers, but what did they do? They knew the Torah before we received the Torah. And they followed the Torah before we received the Torah. Why? Because they analyzed. They looked at the world, and from through the world they knew Hashem. 
So we have another bar that is over here. It's another six. How much is it together? 24. 24, 24 books of the Tanakh. So this is clinging to Hashem. So Bezrat Hashem, we are in Parashat Pinchas. Tomorrow we're going to start a study Parashat Pinchas, but look how beautiful it is. So our sages ask, why Parashat Pinchas is always Ben Amitzarim? Always Ben Amitzarim. And what is written in Parashat Yitzchak? All of the holidays, and Musafim, and Musaf, all of the sacrifices, all of the festivals. So the question is why? And this is a festival, it's something good. Because Hashem loves us, and He wants us to know that the root that of all of the festivals of the Jewish people come from these three weeks. These three weeks. So three weeks. Um, can I wipe the board? Me, me. That's an it's written It's written the King David says chapter 73 in Tehillim that Hashem is good to the children of Israel that have pure hearts. You see how much is important? Hashem reads our hearts. He knows our hearts. We don't know what a person feels in his heart. He can tell us something, but he can feel something else. But Hashem sees. We see to the eye, but Hashem sees to the heart. So, dear ladies, Mazeach, Aleph is one, okay? And Ha is 20. Together it's 21. 21 days. What are the 20 wives? Tov, that is good. Minyan Tov, that is good to the children of Israel. So the, it's all of the holidays that we have. We have Shabbat, we have Rosh Chodesh, okay? Uh, we have Rosh Chodesh, we have Rosh Hashanah, we have Yom Kippurim, we have Sukkot, we have uh, Pesach, and we have Shavuot. Nachon? So Shabbat we have one day. Rosh Chodesh is one day. Rosh Hashanah, two days. Yom Kippurim, one day. Sukkot, seven days. Nachon? Pesach, Sukkot is eight days. Eight days. Pesach is seven days. And Shavuot, one day. Okay? So eight plus two is ten. And then we have seven plus one, two, three is another ten. It's twenty. And we have one. How much is it together? Can you imagine all of the high holidays that we read in Parashat Pinchat, which always falls inside the Meitzarim, Ben Meitzarim, in the three weeks, all of the high, all of the festivals of 21 days, and why? Because we are going now to Moshe Rabbeinu. You remember Moshe Rabbeinu? When he saw the burning bush, he said to Hashem, Hashem sent him as a messenger. Moshe said to God, I'm coming to the children of Israel, and I will tell them, that your, your fathers, the God of your fathers sent me to you to be Mashiach, to save you, to redeem you. And they will ask me, what's his name? What is the name of God? Moshe Rabbeinu asked Hashem, what shall I tell them? And Hashem, and the God says to Moshe, I will be who I will be. And then he says, You should tell the children of Israel, I will be, send me to you, to you. So Rashi asks why there's only once, Zerabim and Pinchas Friedman, I saw it in his uh, Ma'amarim, 
He says, Rashi says, why at the beginning he says, that I will be who I will be, and then he ends only with one Eye. First of all, know that Rizal says that the, the name of Hashem of repentance is Eye. Which means that from now on, I will be a servant of Hashem. I will be the servant. This is the, the name of Hashem of repentance. So what is this name? Aleph is one. Okay, hey, I'm writing Kuf, but it's hey. Okay, know that this is Kuf Shave hey. Okay, because I, I can't wipe the board of Hata. So hey is five. Then I have Yud. Yud is ten. And another hey is five. How much is it together? Twenty-one. The name of repentance of Hashem is 21. So, there are two sets. I have to wipe the board away. Or maybe I'll wipe it. You want to take a picture and then I'll wipe the board? Okay, there are two sets of 21 in the year. Two sets of chuvat of repentance, during the year. Aweb Yisrael, Ahev Israel, he writes this in his book, Ahev Israel, he writes this. Two sets that we have in Shemoshnei Setim, 21 days, one is from Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah until Rosh Hashanah Rabba, Rosh Hashanah Rabba, because Rosh Hashanah is Aleph Tishrei, Rosh Hashanah Rabba is Chaf Aleph Tishrei, Aleph is one, half Aleph is 21, exactly 21 days, a circle of 21 days. And we have another circle of 21 days, which is Yudzai Tammuz, the 17th of Tammuz, Keminyan Tov, this is Tov, which means Bezrat Hashem, soon Bezrat Hashem, this will be a festival, mm -hmm. until Tisha B'Av, until the 9th of Av, this is also a, a cycle of 21 days. This is what Hashem said, Eya Shereye. This is exactly what Hashem said. There are two cycles of 21 days. Over here we do tshuva. Over here between Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Hashanah Rabba, we do tshuva with happiness. Bez chesed, berachamim, with mercy, berachamim. And we are happy, it's a festival. We sit with the families, we do the sukkah, we, we dress up with white, it's, it's a happy, we, we are doing tshuva with all of our hearts, with happiness. But over here, the etzeb, this is with sadness, this is the three weeks that we do tshuva with sadness. We mourn, yes, no, no. we have the customs of mourning, we don't uh, cut our hair, we a little bit, the more we come closer to Tisha B'Av, it becomes harsher. Then at the nine days, we don't eat meat and not uh, chicken, only only dairy. And then we we also don't drink uh, geffen, except for Shabbat. So everything becomes harsher. This is the way of Hashem to speak to us. Zeh Then this is the way Hashem speaks with us, which means in a gentle way. He says, do tshuva, I'm waiting for you. Oh, th this set of 21 days. But the second set of the 21 days like we do now, the dibu kashe. This is a harsh speech that Hashem speaks to us because the temple was ruined. Can you imagine? The temple was ruined because we had baseless Hatred. And baseless hatred is only, it's only when we have Lashonara slandering, gossiping, slandering, when we don't remember our place, when we don't remember that nobody can touch anything that Hashem gave us. Nobody can, no one, only if Hashem gives a permission, can touch anything that we have. And instead of being happy for each other, we as, anyway, we are just guests. We come in and we go out. Anyway, we are guests. So we see it on Yom Kippurim. Yom Kippurim, the Kohen Gadol, what does he do? 
כתוב בפרשת אחרי מות, הצמית את בנתן אהרון על שני הסעירים, אהרון takes the two goats, he goats, male goats, two goats, that are the same size, the same age, everything, and he, put a, he puts a lot on it. ונתן אהרון על שני הסירים גורלות, he puts גורל אחד להשם, one goat is supposed to be a sacrifice for Hashem, and the second goat, בגורל אחד לעזאזל, is, is to be that it, it, it takes upon itself all of the sins of the children of Israel. So, גורל להשם is these three, three weeks. This is גורל להשם. זה גורל להשם. Because we make Hashem happy, we are happy, we prepare the table for Rosh Hashanah, we are in the shul, we all dress white, we, we make Hashem, He says, look at my children, they are angels. We do slichot, we blow the shofar, this is angels. What is shofar? What is the letter shofar? What's this? This means that we need to correct our actions. This means that we call a shaper, that we will correct our actions. Shapu, the same letters, which means correct your actions. Le shaper et our character traits. And this, these three weeks that we are in now, ze goral azazel. Why? Because we sinned, and Hashem had to ruin the temple, the first one and the second one, and we're waiting for the third one that is supposed to come from heaven, the Siyat Arishma. Mm -hmm. So what, what can we do? Omer Abal Shem Tov, it's written in Masechet Avot, the Siyat Arishma, that every day, every day, Yotzet Bat Kol Me'ar Choreb, that there's a decree from the mountain of Choreb, and decrees, Oy Ba'avoy Lahem, לבריות מעלבונה של תורה. אוי ואבוי to the people, the, the children of Israel, from shaming the Torah that they don't study. Because I just showed you, משה רבינו, the two משיחים is waiting for משה רבינו to come. So he says, אוי ואבוי להם מעלבונה של תורה. זה אומר הבעל שם טוב, that every day this voice, really, this decree, appears every day. Do you hear it, the decree? Anybody hears the decree? אתם שומעים את בת הקול שאומרת כל יום, אוי להם לבריות מעלבונה של תורה? So Baal Hashem says, every time, because we are in a body, so we are limited in, in time and space, but every time during the day that we feel that we didn't do something right, and ah, I didn't speak nice to that person. כל יום שאנחנו מרגישים במהלך היום שעשינו משהו לא בסדר, משהו אמרנו, אמרנו משהו לא בסדר, כעסנו, לא היינו בסדר. That we feel this, it means that we heard the bat call. Yes. Why? Because the bat call wants us to do tshuva. So during the day when we hear, when we have, he will wait tshuva במהלך היום, when we have the thoughts of doing tshuva, This means that the bad call went into our soul. It's a big wow. It's a big wow. So how? Can you say that again? Okay, so every day when we feel during the day that we feel that, it, wow, we didn't, I didn't speak nice to my mother. I didn't speak nice to this, the woman in, on the phone. You know what? I, I should have smiled to the woman that I met and I didn't smile to her. So maybe she thinks that I don't like her. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll call her and say that everything's okay. How are you? How do you feel? When we feel that we did something wrong during the day, thoughts of doing, of repenting, this means that our soul heard, yes, our soul heard the bad call, the decree in heaven. Our soul heard it. So it says in Masechet Avot, Rabban Shimon ben Shatach Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Shatach says, כל ימיי גודלתי בין חכמים, all of my life I was raised among scholars in Torah, ולא מצאתי לגוף טוב, I didn't find something good for the body, משתיקה, from silence. 
I didn't find anything good for my body except for silence. silence now I would like to ask you something. Can what does it mean? My, a body makes noises? No, the mouth makes noise. He should say I, I didn't. I didn't find something good for the for the mouth except for silence. Uh, except for silence. So why does he say he says silence? Because we are engaged every day. Every day we engage with everything that we have, with our children, our husbands, everything that bothers us. So we don't pay attention, Besiata Dishmaya, to Hashem. We don't put it in our in our mind 24-7. That I will see Hashem in front of me all of the time. And what happens at that time? When we you remember the Rambam, the Morene Bochim, what he says? that the help that we have depends on how much we cling to Hashem, how much that we have of Hashem. The help, the help that, we, that we get from Hashem depends on our that of Hashem. If we cling to Hashem 24 hours a day, seven days a week, then the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, is all around us, and everything that happens to us is a miracle. <laughs> Which means that Hashem sends His angels to help us and to protect us in all of the ways that we go. But once we, not, we are not clinging to Hashem because we have worries and we, are, we fall down in, into the worries or everything or that we do during the day, you know, the, the routine of the day, then at the times that we don't think about Hashem, there's less a guy, a protection around us. The more we cling, we become echad. Bivchinat Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Kutcha Berichu Oraita Yisrael Chad, which means a Kadosh Baruch Hu Hashem, the children of Israel and the Torah are one. So the more we cling to Hashem, the more we are protected. The less we cling to Hashem the less we are protected. So Rabbam, Hashem gave me to give it to you in one of the shurim, but Moren Nebuchim, he writes, it's beautiful here. It depends on da'at, that the knowing of Hashem, of a human being during the whole day. So even a, a tzaddik tzaddikim, if I, if I, he, they did something, even when we eat, we need to think about Hashem. Hashem, please, that the food that we eat, Bezrat Hashem, will be for health, that we will have the strength to, to worship you, that we can do sudot amini, we can do shurei Torah, we can have everybody in the shul bezrat Hashem with happiness, with maor panim, with a bright face so that will welcome everybody nicely bezrat Hashem. And not only in the shul, but in our homes, our children, our husbands, everyone. So because of everything, the routine of the day that we engage in everything that we do, we sometimes don't think about Hashem. So we make ourselves think about Hashem b'siyat Hashem. This is why we came. We came to work on ourselves. So, Besiata Dishmaya, we need, he says, silence. So, the fixing, the truth fixing, it says, I didn't bring the whole book, but I, I brought her. He, he writes something beautiful because it's connected to Aya Shariye. So, he writes this, Velikote Moaran, Besiata Dishmaya. He says, he starts with Vayomer Hashem el Moshe, Kara et Yoshua, Hashem calls Moshe to call Yoshua. This is Likutei Moaran, chapter 6. And it's written, chapter 6, Aleph. And it's written over here, Kitzarich kol adam lemaet bichvod atzmo velarbot bichvod amakom. Which means that every human being doesn't need to, uh, to pursue his own honor, but the honor of Hashem. Which means we need to well to bend our to bend our head and to pursue the honor of Hashem. Pursuing the honor of Hashem is having a, a, a knowledge, a knowing of Hashem in our hearts. Ladat et kadosh baruch in our hearts. Otherwise, we can't pursue the honor of Hashem. We think we pursue it, but we're pursuing only the honor of ourselves. So it's a very thin line between pursuing the honor of ourselves and pursuing the honor of Hashem. Very thin line. So Abad Shem Tov says, how do you know, really, if you are doing this or this? He says, take everything, all of the politics out. 
see, ask yourself if you are doing this, that, that people will call you righteous. תשאלו את עצמכם, אנחנו עושים את זה בכלל שאנשים יקראו לנו צדיקים. Ask yourself because I, you want to look nice in front of this or nice in front. Take all of the politics out and then you'll see if you're doing it for the, for the sake of Hashem. And if you're really doing it for the sake of Hashem, מצווה גוררת מצווה. Hashem will give you another מצווה to do. If it's really for the sake of Hashem. Otherwise, after the מצווה there will be a, a law and a sin. כי העבירה גוררת עבירה, בגלל זה זה לא המצווה, זה באמת הסין. אתם לא עושים את זה, אתם עושים את זה לעצמכם, 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 לעצ of this name, at the backwards of this name of Hashem. So I'm going to write it like this. We have Aleph, and then we have Aleph and Kuf, you know, by the name. And then we have Aleph, Kuf, Kuf. And then we have Aleph, Kuf, use Kuf, okay? So we look at the Quran, we look like this. Aleph is one. Another, this Aleph is one, and this is a He, so it's five together, it's six. Then we have a Aleph is one, He is five, and U is ten. How much is it? Sixteen. And then we have the, the word, the name of Hashem, Aye, Nakon. So this we said it's seventy-one. How much is it together? Twenty-one plus sixteen plus six plus one. How much is it together? Twenty-one plus sixteen plus six and plus, and plus forty-four. Exactly. It's forty-four. You know what 44 is? 40 equals mem. And 4 equals dalet. The symbol of dalet and mem, yes, is dam. Blood. Okay? Why blood? King Solomon says, Amen at Shlomo Omer, he says, he says like this, Lev Chacham. לימינו ולב כסיל לשמאלו. This is Kohelet chapter Yud, chapter Yud, verse 2. So a smart, a wise heart is on the right. לב חכם לימינו ולב כסיל לשמאלו. And a foolish heart is on the left. So I'm not reading it for you over here, but I'll explain to you. What does it mean? We have two rooms in the heart. We have the left one and the right one. Ma? Ken. Ma? The, 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 nachon. But the, the, the left one, the left side, okay, of the heart, the left side is where the blood flows. And the right side is where the air goes. Okay? So on the right side that it's air, this is what the, the Chachamim say, on the right side that it's air is the good inclination. On the left side, where the blood is the evil inclination. היצר הרע נמצא בחדר השמאלי, והיצר הטוב בחדר הימני. החדר השמאלי זה דם, והחדר הימני זה אוויר. So, the wise part is the good inclination is on the right side of the heart, and the evil inclination is on the left side of the heart, which is the foolish one. Not to listen to Hashem, which is the creator. So, he says like this, what do you need to do? This is dam where the evil inclination is. In order to fix it, this is what he says, I'm giving you in general, Betikun Lazay, he says, and in order to fix it, Sheyapoch Dam Ledom. To make Dam, you see Dam? Can I wipe it? Okay, to make Dam, which is blood, <laughs> to make Dam Ledom, it's the same letters. But instead of having the kamats under the dalet, it will be over here at Kolam. On the what is dom? It's written in Parashat Shmini. You remember Parashat Shmini, the Dab Babihu, the two yes, children of Aaron and Kohen. And the two children of Aaron and Kohen, they put fire, they put sacrifice that Hashem does, did not tell him to do. And Hashem takes a, 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 it's like a ish, 
and Hashem oh, takes right. fire from heaven and puts it through their nostrils and kills them in, 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 inside, from the inside, but nothing happens to his, their body from the outside, into, into their nostril. So what does Aaron do? Don't. You see, Aaron is silent. Aaron doesn't say anything. He accepts, he says, go to Diana Emet, lo alenu, but he, he, he doesn't have anything in his heart against Hashem. Vayidam Aaron. See it over here? And Aaron lost two sons, lo alenu, lo alenu, two sons, at, at the same time, in front of everyone. But it's written, Vayidam Aaron, that Aaron is silent. He doesn't say anything. Because of that, Hashem speaks to Aaron, and he tells him, Parashat Shtu Yayayin, because he knew his heart, that he was true to him. We go to King David, Olchim David HaMelech, it's written in chapter 30, Leman is a Mechak Avod, Yidom. King David says, I am going to say to praise you, Hashem. I am going to sing to you, Hashem. I'm not going to be silent. Look, Hashem Elokai, Hashem is the measure of, of, of mercy. Elokai, the measure of judgment. Odeka, I will always praise you. So this is the tikkun. This is the tshuva. This is the shtika. Lidom. That we should be siyata dishmaya in order to fix, to fix what we did that caused the ruins of the first temple and the second. We need to, mm -hmm, our mouth. We need to be silent. Only that our mouth will only take good words. And also this comes from the name of Tshuva Hashem. That we will, the Siyad Adishmaya will learn to give good words to each other. Good words to, our, to ourselves also. To be happy with the creation that Hashem created. Because if we are not happy with ourselves, we can't be mefargen to others. We can't give well, good words to others. If we don't have a good word to do, let's close our mouth <laughs> and put the key aside until we, the siyata dishmaya, we calm down. So we see the siyata dishmaya and King David says, even if Hashem measures for me measure of judgment, because Hashem is the measure of mercy and the lokai is the measure of judgment. So he says, even if Hashem measures for me judgment, I will always be. Hmm? This is chapter 30, verse 13. So, I will always praise you. And we know King David, he had so many problems, so many sufferings. Even his son was running, chasing him and running after him, pursuing him. So, dear ladies, the fixing the siyata dishma bibkinat ehiyah asher may Hashem help us. Bezrat Hashem, to practice loving each other Amen. with a mouth, with a smile, Bezrat Hashem. Amen. And b'schut zeh b'siyat adishmaya, when we all be zochet to greet Mashiach Tzikhan Barakamim, we will be able to meet Eliyahu, and we will be able to meet Eliyahu. Lo'olam yipar adadam nichabo b'alacha adabim. בדבר הלכה יחיד ברבים הלכה כרבים. בסייעת נשמע תלינו בטוב את הקיצו בשואה ברחת. אמן. כן, you close the... כן, רגיל. We have to do the Shuba, not Hashem. Why do you say it? Ah, it's not that he is. This is the name of we awaken the name of Hashem of Shuba. No.